depression is the single leading cause of disability globally and our children are going to be growing up in a world in which they will be dealing with fragility and heartache and job loss and so it is our job as parents to help them to be able to deal with and have skills to deal with the full range of emotions not just the ones that feel good you know so now we take these principles and we start applying them to our own lives and into organizations and what we soon realize is that we might say gee i'm unhappy in my job but at least i've got a job and that emotion feels bad and so we try to be positive and fake positive about it but if we just pause if we just show up to that emotion for a brief period and we say what is the value that this emotion is pointing to what we realize is that our emotions even the most difficult ones contain signposts to the things that we care about so my sense of uh frustration at work might be a signpost that being seen is really important to me and i'm not feeling seen or that frustration might be a signpost to me that growth is really important and there's a lack of growth in my job in my role right now so when we pause when we show up to our difficult emotions recognizing that our emotions are not fact but they are data so they are data not directions they give us really important information we don't need to listen to them not every time i feel something or think something do i have to act on it but if i just pause and show up and say what is this emotion trying to tell me about my situation about my colleague about my job about who i want to be right now then what we are able to do is we are able to start making changes what i call tiny tweaks values align changes that can actually help us to navigate and to adjust and to be more fulfilled and connected hence the term emotional agility because these are these on the ground skills that help us to be the people the leaders the parents that we ultimately want to be